Hi, welcome to my studio. My name's Chris. Just today I received a brand new watercolor journal in the mail. This is the Linden Art Watercolor Journal. I immediately sat down and painted my first ink and wash sketch in this journal. You can see it in more detail here. In this short video, I'm going to give my initial impressions of this art journal by Linden Art and talk about some of its best features. Next, I will demonstrate the entire process of this ink and wash painting so you can see this journal and how it performs under real conditions. Let's get started. Hey everybody, Chris here. Look what I just got in the mail. I just received a brand new watercolor journal and I'm going to open it and give you my first impressions. This is by Linden Art and I haven't seen a lot of their work online, but I was really attracted to this art journal for a couple reasons. First of all, a lot of pages. There's 32 sheets in this, um, in this journal and that's more than I saw in most journals. It's also 140 pound or 300 GSM weight, which I always try to get this weight of paper for my watercolor, even in my journals. I find that anything lighter than that just doesn't work very well. It's a nice size at eight and a half inch by five and a half inch, and it has the kind of texture I prefer, which is the cold press. Uh, one thing to note about this journal, however, is that it uh, is not cotton paper. It is cellulose. It doesn't say anywhere on there that it's cotton. And if it is cotton, uh, it will always say it. So if you're ever wondering if you're buying cotton paper or not, you just need to find that cotton designation. And even if you're really picky and you want 100% cotton, it needs to say that. Now, uh, I usually get cotton paper, but in this case, I decided to just get this cellulose paper. Why? Because it's less expensive. And a journal is something I just use for daily sketching. And I want to, to be able to sketch and use it without really worrying about going through a lot of expensive paper. I'm going to go ahead and open it now and take a look and do a little uh, initial sketching. The very first thing you notice about this journal is the awesome hardcover on the journal. And it looks like leather. It's not leather. Um, it is a fake leather, a polyurethane, but um, you know what? I really like the look of it. And for $17 US, I think it's a great deal. When you open it up, you see there's no writing inside on either the uh, inside or back covers. There is an elastic band on the back, and this is handy if you want to keep your journal from opening when you put it in your bag. There's also a nice ribbon for keeping track of your place. My initial reaction to the texture is that it's a very standard cold press texture. I think I'm going to like it a lot. Uh, on the uh, advertising, it says that it is textured on both sides, and definitely I see that it is. Both the front and the back have the same texture, which is nice. That allows you to paint on all 64 uh, sides or sh uh, with the 32 sheets in this, in this particular journal. With 32 sheets in this journal, I find that's more than almost any other watercolor journal that I saw for sale in this price range. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick sketch uh, in this journal just to test it out and to give my first impressions. I did notice when I opened this up here, there is one blank piece of paper that is a regular cardstock that doesn't have texture on it. So just make sure you skip that first page. Uh, then this page here uh, is uh, actual textured uh, cold press paper. So you're going to want to start there. I'm going to do a quick sketch and this just comes from a hike that I did recently. Uh, I went up into the mountains near my home and uh, went uh, hiking on my birthday, which was a little while ago. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and sketch this in real quick. Again, this is not meant to be a full tutorial, really just a review of this, of this brand new Linden Art Watercolor Journal. I want to speed up the video a little bit as I quickly put in my initial sketch. OK, 
okay, I've finished my drawing with my Uniball pen. I like the way the paper responds to the pen. There's just enough tooth in the paper that it's, it's a really nice surface to draw on. And um, I don't see any bleeding in the paper from the pen. And um, we're going to go ahead now and move into the wash portion of this drawing. Okay, I'm going to use my Magello Mission Gold Pure Pigment Set, which is in my Magello palette here. I've got other videos on my channel that review these if you're interested. And uh, let me get these here in the shot for you. I'm also going to use my Princeton Neptune Brush Set. I've got a number 14 round, a 6 round, a 4 round, and a number 1 liner. All right, let's move into the wash part of this. Again, um, this is my first time using this new Linden Art Journal, watercolor journal, and I'm just going to do a quick ink and wash. This is sunset, or excuse me, it was sunrise when I was here at the mountain, and so there's a bit of uh, yellow in the sky. So we'll come in first with that. Again, this is not 100% cotton paper, and I can already tell that it is um, more cellul it's a cellulose paper. And again, I, I, I realized that when I bought it and um, wasn't worried about that. I wanted a low cost uh, journal that I could bring with me out on the field, do some daily sketching in. I'm just trying to capture the rugged uh, mountain scape here with a lot of snow and glacier on it. So I'm going to use a variety of ultramarine blue and my Doxazine violet and uh, some cerulean blue. Kind of just a nice mixture of that. There we go. I'm just trying to do a real simple, uh, real simple sketch here. So I'm going to leave it at that for the mountains and now go on to the trees. As we're waiting for this to dry, this first wash, just take a look at the paper and how it's responding to the water. You can see that there is a little bit of buckling here in the paper. That's to be expected. All watercolor paper will buckle a little bit. And I don't think that this is, is very bad. Actually, I think it's, it's holding up quite nicely to the water. One thing uh, you can do when you're using a journal like this is to use a clip, a binder clip, and just go ahead and clip the paper like this on the outer edges. And that will really help hold your paper in place as you do your drawing and painting. Okay, I've mixed up a really nice dark mixture of bamboo green and my dioxazine violet, and uh, it's almost a black color. And I'm going to go in here, and now that the first wash is dry, I'm just going to put in my really dark application of these, this color here, and just put in my trees, tree line here, which is really quite dark in comparison to the rest of the drawing. I like how the paper is responding to the paint and the pigments um, and to the water. I, it's uh, not giving me blooms. It's uh, not acting uh, some sheet paper. Um, the paper will um, absorb the water and pigment very quickly, giving you almost no time to work with the paper to soften the edges um, and that's not happening here at all. I'm, I'm seeing that uh, it's responding to the water and the paint quite nicely for this grade paper. Again, it's not cotton paper. It's a cellulose paper, but um, I think for the, again, for this price point and for the purpose that I want to use this for in a journal, daily sketching, I think this looks like a uh, it's holding up quite nicely to the water and responding to the paint uh, as I would expect. 
You see here, I'm just uh, blending out these edges. And again, it's, it's uh, responding quite nicely to that, allowing me to soften edges even after um, a little time has elapsed. Beautiful. Take a close-up look here at how the paint is responding to the paper. Again, I'm really pleased with the quality of the paper uh, for this kind of a journal. I'll go ahead and put some final touches on this painting here. Uh, glazing now. I'm painting uh, wet on dry, applying transparent uh, watercolor pigment over previously applied colors. And so what I'm looking for here now is to see if I can do that without lifting the previous colors uh, or disturbing. And uh, it looks like it's doing great. I don't see any undue lifting or smudging happening here with this. And that's kind of what you're looking for. So here you go. Here's a finished initial painting in my Linden watercolor journal. I'm really happy with how the paints and water are responding to the paper. Another thing to be aware of is because this is a sewn binding, uh, you can open these up and lay them flat and get a full spread. If you want to do a nice wide painting um, or sketch, you could uh, go ahead and use a full spread like that as well. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. I put out videos like this about once a week. Thanks and have a great day.